Remember the big announcements that Maharashtra made at Davos 2025? One of them just materialized. So back in January at the WEF 2025 in Davos, Maharashtra made headlines by signing major MOUs worth 15 lakh crore across various sectors like EV, semiconductors, renewable energy and advanced manufacturing. So nine months later, one of those commitments has turned into a tangible reality. This marks the launch of India's first indigenously manufactured electric cargo truck developed by Blue Energy Motors in Pune. This is truly our Tesla moment for the cargo transport sector. It's not me who's saying this, it's Maharashtra's Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis. And this launch marks a defining moment in India's electric mobility revolution. And as Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis put it, this is truly our Tesla moment for the cargo transport sector. And while electrification of public transport has made rapid progress, the decarbonization of cargo handling vehicles was long overdue. Now, cargo trucks contribute significantly to vehicular emissions. And this innovation is a major stride towards sustainability and a cleaner logistics ecosystem is what he said. And now, this partnership between Blue Energy Motors and the government of Maharashtra began with a memorandum of understanding signed at the World Economic Forum at Davos earlier this year. And the company has now delivered on its commitment with remarkable speed. From signing in Jan 2025 to launching the first EV-powered cargo truck in October 2025, just nine months later. And this project represents a 3,500 crore rupees investment and it's expected to generate 4,000 jobs, thereby reinforcing Maharashtra's position as India's leading EV manufacturing hub. And this 3,500 crore investment is expected to generate 4,000 jobs. I'm reiterating that because with every investment, the popular question is that, folks, is this going to create more jobs? In this case, it definitely will. Now, Fatnavis emphasized the importance of indigenous innovation, stating that India needed its own manufacturer to revolutionize the cargo transportation sector. I appreciate Blue Energy Motors for delivering this vision by launching a state-of-the-art made-in-India EV truck a product that truly fulfills the dream of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India mission initiated in 2014. And now this new electric truck is equipped with a battery swapping technology which Fadnavis described as a game changer which is poised to revolutionize the EV sector. And the innovation addresses one of the biggest operational bottlenecks in commercial EV adoption which is long charging times. So by allowing instant replacement of depleted batteries, it's ensuring continuous vehicle uptime and an improved logistics efficiency. So highlighting Maharashtra's long-term commitment to clean energy and infrastructure, Fadnavis noted Maharashtra will continue to strengthen EV infrastructure along the Mumbai-Pune corridor. So under the renewable energy vision, which is by 2030, 52% of energy generation will come from renewable sources and by 2035, it will get exponentially higher, thereby creating a robust foundation for a sustainable future. And at WEF 2025, Maharashtra's mission was to attract investments that align with the state's sustainability and innovation agenda. And the MOU with Blue Energy Motors exemplifies how such partnerships can move beyond paper agreements to tangible outcomes within a single year. And Fatnavis further went on to remark that the MOU signed in Davos were more than just an agreement. It was a commitment to a cleaner, sustainable future. And again, he mentioned that from signing in January to launching in October, it just took nine months. So Maharashtra has initiated the implementation of 85 to 87% of the 54 MOUs that the state signed in the WEF at Davos. And this successful rollout of India's first EV cargo truck signifies more than just technological progress. It reflects a governance model where policy intent meets industrial execution. So Maharashtra has not only delivered on its promises, but also has set a national benchmark for how rapid, sustainable and indigenous innovation can drive the next phase of India's transport and energy transformation. 
And when I spoke about Maharashtra is implementing nearly 85 to 87 percent of the MOUs, this will amount to approximately 13.3 to 13.6 lakh crore in investments, significantly surpassing India's national average of 40 percent conversions of the MOUs. And the state has made rapid progress. It's already allocated land for 15 projects with seven more in the pipeline. Notably, 20 companies that initially rejected offered land are now being provided with new options under a pass-through model.